It's the sort of news you can't prepare for. Did you have any idea this was coming? No, blindsided. The kind that can bring grown men to tears. Just a uh, ton of bricks. Roger Harrington feels like he's carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders right now, needing to support his family of four, and knowing that after eight years with GE, he's likely out of a job. Does your wife know? Yeah, she does know. I told her to buy a Powerball ticket. And he came straight here to his union hall on Main Street in Hudson Falls. It's usually a gathering spot after work, but on this day, it's more like a grieving spot. It's a huge blow. It's pretty devastating. News that GE's Fort Edward plant was slated to close reached union president Scott Gates Wednesday morning and was formally announced in an afternoon meeting. Employees were told the company is moving all capacitor manufacturing work done here to a facility that GE owns in Clearwater, Florida. About 200 workers are slated for pink slips. A GE spokeswoman tells me the decision to close this plant is not final yet. There's now a 60-day bargaining period, a time where the union can come up with alternative proposals. It will be an uphill battle, but it's one the union members say they're ready to fight. We're going to need the community behind us. And so they go from grieving to making a game plan, holding out hope GE will see the value of this profitable plant in a struggling community. But Roger Harrington figures it won't be long before he'll need to find a new job or a new community altogether to call home. What you get in is not what you get out. GE did not have anyone available to talk with us on camera about this, but a spokeswoman, Christine Horn, told me quite simply, the Fort Edward manufacturing plant has not been competitive. In a statement, the company said that has led to a volume decline in our core product lines over the past few years. Competitors are using their cost advantage, including lower labor and operational costs, to grow in the capacitor business, making it difficult for GE Energy Management to sustain its business operations in Fort Edward. If the plant closes, it would be a year from now.